I'm a trained professional. musicians and we're here to play rock music for you hold on <laughs> professional in in the loosest sense of the word show me show me of these bland introductions. My name is Brendan, that's Chris, that's Neil, we're the Lawrence Arms of Chicago, Illinois. This is our 517th show ever, and I don't think I could be happier to be anywhere in the world than I am to be here in Philadelphia, and I know for a fucking fact that I speak for him and him, this first song is called The Robot with the Monkey Head, and it goes out to my man Jeff from None More Black, who's not in here right now, but who is nonetheless responsible for getting me drunk a few days on this tour. Here we go. Maybe tomorrow I'll drop my toilet's wife Maybe tomorrow 
solution I, I think it's brilliant it solves all our problems at once um, you guys heard of that SARS I it's not it didn't get much press but uh, where we're from they're trying to freak us out about a little thing called SARS <laughs> and uh, rumor is if you get this SARS you can't breathe very well well, this song's not about that, but if you didn't really think about it too much, you could maybe interpret it as being about the SARS. Here it goes. It's a full, crude, and eviction painting. Race me, cold night, gray sky, speed light, lyrical, sentient, attention, fading. I'm on mass. Keep the diamond. You can't see me. I'm 
it wasn't really that long. I never know what I'm gonna say. Yeah. 
Shit we've already played. Yeah, we already did the toast, remember? Um, One more passage. One with the show. Oh, with the show. Yar! Let's do it! Guy in poor Chicago. Um, hey, I don't know, man. I don't really care. Well, I, can, I, can, I can play anything. I know we're going to have to decide, but I'd just like to say. If any of you guys are going back to some pretty kick-ass parties and huge houses with lots of beds and stuff like that, we, we'll stay here. We'll stay at your house. So, uh... And I know this is a place of education and not a place of, uh, intoxication. And far be it for me to go against the policies here, but if any of you guys want to sell us any weed, we'd totally buy it. I said that in code so no officials would understand. Uh, thank God for our Generation X vernacular, huh? No one's gonna, no one's gonna pick up on that shit. So uh, you guys want to party? Let us stay at your house? Sell us some weed? Any of that kind of shit? We're, we're cool with that. You know what would have made that awesome? If we'd have gone into a song right there. <laughs> I don't think any of us know what the fuck is going on. Um, this is where the, what? Navigating the Windward Passage? Yes! It's a call. Yes! Fire! Asa Phelps is dead! Yes, yes. 106 South! Man, that guy's still saying 106 South. Play Freebird! If I leave here tomorrow, would you still remember me? Alright, this song has nothing to do with your. Precious 106 South, here it goes. Just 
pressure I could use to clearly express I'm at another loss for words Is there a part of you that's torn that's larger than life that holds on for one more night I've got a speech to make by a big brain North side Close eyes All dreams Go on forever Hand side With fool's pride In a slowly Fleet summer Just throw your hands up At the sky Trying to explain this the Clouds of fear inside the skies I'm not all entertaining The city looks the same Until you notice smaller changes
That was very good, but his name I don't know. Do you know? You? What? Halfway to Holland. Halfway to Holland? They were good. They were very good. I would agree. And do you guys have stuff for sale over there? Considering that there's a guy over there who I don't know, I'm going to say yes, they do. Oh, you bought the last CD. There's nothing left. No. I'm getting misinformation up here like you would not believe. I cannot keep up this witty and urbane banter if I'm giving misinformation, okay? This is this is just this will not stand. This song goes out to this guy in the baseball shirt back here. Hold on. This song is about going to your friends' houses after you really fuck up your life and being like, hey. Dick, remember we're friends? I'm staying at your house for a while. Here it goes. Tonight, 
Sean, this shit is up tonight, yes? Yes, okay, good. Um, we have a petition over there. There's a man named Darnell Williams who's currently held in a maximum security prison in Indianapolis, Indiana, in the Midwest, who is, um, he was supposed to be executed two weeks ago, but he actually was granted clemency for the next 60 days in order to uh, sort of request a permanent clemency because his trial and his conviction have come under a lot of scrutiny. And basically right now, the prosecuting attorney who sentenced him to death and three jurors, including the foreman, all of whom voted for his death penalty, now believe that he should not receive the death penalty based on new evidence that shows that during the murder, which he has been convicted of and sentenced to die for, he was not in the building where the murder took place. He was actually standing outside. An eyewitness is showing that. And basically, the person who was actually in the building, who has admitted to killing the people, is not receiving the death penalty. Darnell Williams is. And this is a complete and utter travesty. And the fact is, whether you're for the death penalty or against the death penalty, that's not really the issue here. The issue is, this particular man does not deserve to die. And as Americans, we are subjugated to a lot of shit. And here, in sort of the uh, armpit of patriotism of America, and I don't mean armpit in a bad way, because I love this uh, I love this city, it's wonderful. It's sort of the, uh, but this is, this is where it all comes from, I think. You guys have the Liberty Bell and shit here. I've seen it before. And the fact is that like, we're putting up with a lot of shit. We're dealing with um, foreign policies that are you know, completely anti-democracy. We're dealing with fucking domestic policies that are anti-humanitarian, anti-people, anti-you and me. And um, this is a very important cause. This is a person who literally will die soon if uh, enough Americans don't make their voices heard that we don't want people being executed just because it's the whim of the government. They need to go through due process of the law. So please go over there and sign. This is very important. I mean, he only has 60 days. He's supposed to already be dead. So your signature can literally mean the difference between life and death for this guy. So please go over there and sign that and show that you care about, you know, the, uh, the rights that we supposedly fought for over here and, uh, you know, fair trials and that sort of thing. Thank you very much. I'm sorry if I wasn't allowed to go to the Thank Yeah, so please sign the petition on your way out, but before you do that, listen to this song. This is our last song. We're the Lord's Arms of Chicago, Illinois. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Jeff. And thank you, Philadelphia, America. And remember, the partying and the weed, that's all still true. Okay, here we go. I'm clinging to the finest 